Hey, my name is Maya Warren. As it's been stated, I am an advocate and philanthropist, and I just want to extend a, a heartfelt thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Connell for all that they do with IDA and, and, and amplifying the voices of those um, like myself who live with invisible disabilities and sharing their experience as well. I want to say thank you to my brother, my sister, my support group and community that is behind me and that I get to interact with and they propel me in terms of purpose and being able to share my story, the ups, the downs, and we know that there are many lows in this journey of navigating many times multiple invisible conditions. I also want to say thank you to God who continues to write my story and uses the pain that I live with daily as a modicum for purpose and impact. I, I genuinely don't know <laughs> how I'm here today, but I think the beauty of navigating life sometimes with different conditions is it, it provides you with a different perspective. When I think of the word inspiration, and many times in our community, it's it has a bad taste in our mouths because of, of how it's been manipulated to treat people with disabilities and otherwise people with disabilities. But when I think of the root, the genuine term of inspiration, it means to ultimately motivate someone. An action taken, a word being uttered, something that impacts someone so greatly that they internalize that in whatever way that is appropriate to their journey. And then it causes them to take action. And so to be able to receive the But look, You Look Good Inspiration Award, um, it's humbling, it's, it's an honor because I myself living with multiple conditions day to day, don't know <laughs> what the next moment or, or the next week or the month will look like, but being able to serve through my gifts, uh, whether I'm bed bound or upright um, has been a blessing for me. So a special thank you to all those involved in making the decision and making this gala happen. Um, thank you. <laughs>